Hi, you guys. I am here today to tell you a little bit about why I think Booking.com is the best online booking site and also to walk you through a few features that are a little bit lesser known so that you can learn how to use Booking.com like a pro. So let's go ahead and get started. We are here on the Booking.com landing page. This will be the first place you get if you come to this website. And as you can see, it's a very simple, straightforward website. And the main front page is really just here to get you started on finding your perfect hotel. So I'm going to do a sample search today about Hobart, Tasmania. That is somewhere I'm actually looking for. Um, and this would be basically how I would use booking.com if I were to start researching hotels. So you can see here that there are 75 properties in Hobart, which is too many to realistically flip through and read all the reviews for and make a final decision. But I like booking because they have a lot of filter features, more so than the average website. So you can filter um, by amenities or budget or um, whether it's a basic or luxury hotel. Usually what I look for is a rating of eight out of 10 or higher. I find if I go all the way up to a nine out of 10, sometimes I get things a little bit too filtered through, um, but eight out of 10 is usually a good dividing line for me. I always check for free Wi-Fi. That's something very important to me and probably to most travelers these days. And then the last thing that I personally always look for is that the front desk is open 24 seven. Um, I've had a few incidents where I needed someone in off hours. So I definitely filter for that, but there are a lot of other options if you were looking for something else. So we've narrowed it down from 75 to 13, which is much more manageable. So the next thing that I would probably go ahead and look for is this map view. Now Hobart's a small city, so I know that I can just zoom into the main city center here somewhere that might be walking distance from everything else. Um, for bigger cities like New York or Paris, you might actually know neighborhoods or sides of town. So it's great to zoom in and actually see where things are located. And then you can go ahead and flip through. You see I have less than 10 hotels now, um, but you can kind of go through and flip through to see the prices on them, something that might be a good price for you, a good location for you, or at least you've narrowed it down to a more manageable subset of different hotels. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this Hadley's Orient Hotel. It's right in the center of town. It has a, a decent price, um, a pretty good ranking. So to me, that's kind of a good combination of everything. So if we go to the page for Hadley's Orient Hotel, uh, it looks very similar to what you would find on pretty much any hotel website. Uh, so you'll have some pictures here that you can flip through and you'll, you can scroll down, of course, to read the actual information on the hotel. So that's pretty much the same as every other website. There are a couple of things that I think Booking.com does better than other websites. That, first of all, is that their pricing information here is very straightforward. So you see the price in big numbers, including the taxes and fees. So that really is the bottom line price that you'll pay here at $163. You can see very clearly here that breakfast is not included, but you could potentially purchase it separately and you know exactly what it costs. So to me, that's very good. And you can also compare it to this rate below where the breakfast is already built in. Um, and if you look at it, there's not really a whole advantage to paying for breakfast up front. You might as well just do that when you get there, but you can compare those rates. You can also see very clearly that you can cancel up until January 4th. I think that's fabulous that they spell it out very clearly to you. So I just personally value the transparency and the ease of finding information when it comes to booking.com. One of the other things that I like is that if you click on the room type, it will show you pictures of what that room looks like. So in this case, I'm looking at just a regular hotel room. You can see what that looks like here. And if you wanted to compare that to the superior room to see, you know, what else are you getting for that extra room charge? And you can see that there's a whole sitting area. It certainly is an upgrade 
whether or not you need that, that's something that you can determine. But the pictures, I think, go a long way to speak for whether or not that's something that you would value or want to pay extra for. And you can compare those prices very easily here. So you can decide which one is the right one for you. If you're not quite ready to book, the other thing that I love about booking.com is that you can go ahead here and save. Um, so you can actually bookmark some of these. <clears throat> And then if you wanted to later on, you can go back to those and look at those lists. And I'll go ahead and sign in um, just so that you can see what it looks like when you have a list. If I can remember my password, that is. So if you go into my account, you'll see that I have several lists set up from before, and I think that's a useful feature that, again, a lot of websites don't have otherwise. So I just have this one hotel saved here right now for that um, sample trip to Tasmania. But you can go into some of my former trips. I still have lists set up. So in this case, this is a list that I had for Colombo, Sri Lanka, um, where I had a night at the beginning of my trip last year. And I was kind of comparing some options and you can see all these different hotels here. It's a very good way to kind of see things across all at once and be able to say, hey, look at the differences in prices. You can see they're all over the board here for Sri Lanka, which um, this is a very cheap part of the world to go to, as you can see by some of these very low prices. You can also see very quickly the different ratings. All of these are an eight out of 10 or higher because that is something that I look for. Um, and if you're traveling with someone else, it's very quick and easy to go ahead and send that list to someone else just by clicking on that. That's a fun feature because it makes it easy to plan trips if you're going with a companion you don't live with or you don't have someone that you can talk to right over their shoulder and look at a single laptop screen. So that's great. Um, for example, I travel with my sister sometimes and I could say, hey, I've shortlisted these four hotels. Take a look at them and tell me if you have any that you really love or that you really hate. Um, or if she's the one in charge of making that reservation and paying for it, I can go ahead and send that list and she can go ahead and do that one click um, through to actually reserve the hotel later on when she chooses one. So those are a couple of reasons why I think booking.com is the best online booking site for hotels. Um, a lot of it is that transparency, some of it is the filtering, and then of course this list feature. Um, on top of that, you will find that they just have millions and millions of property listings worldwide and really great prices. So that's obviously something that you look for too. Hopefully this was helpful to show you a few new features at booking.com. If you are new to the website, be sure to check out my full review on sitedoing.net and you'll get a $15 off rebate from your first booking. Um, if you are not new to booking.com, unfortunately you can't use that discount, but I still hope you learned something new. Happy travel planning and thanks for joining me.